With all the hot weather comes a chance of wildfires. North of Santia, a brush fire broke out and burned several acres just today, and that's along with another fire in Camp Pendleton. Our Jamie Chambers was with Cal Fire as planes headed out to tackle the flames. With so much ground to cover, the brush fire can really start anywhere, and most likely the first people to hit the flames will be hitting it from the air. And that's why the Ramona Air Attack Base has been so pivotal in smothering out flames before they start. The Cal Fire Air Attack Team out of Ramona has been bouncing all over the county, hitting fires before they get too big to control. This S2 Air tankers have been launching, dropping their fire retardant, then returning for a fill up on gas and the pink drop mix known as FOSCHEC. Our goal is to keep 95% of our wildfires at 10 acres or less. So with these air tankers, you know, they can travel up to 250, 270 miles an hour. It's a great air asset to have. Captain Brent Pascua says today they were able to keep the fires small. They drop on the fire, they slow it down, they keep it from running and spreading quickly, and that allows us, the troops on the ground, to come in behind and put it out. With the heat in extreme dry conditions, air assets have been a game changer in being able to stop some of the most dangerous ignitions. We can launch seven helicopters. We have these two air tankers. And those firefighting aircraft are spread out through the county to try to get as close to any new problems as possible. This Grumman air tanker really is a workhorse for Cal Fire. And the second that they start to see smoke on the hill, this airplane, it gets launched. We send it all. We can always cancel it, have them return later, but we find it more beneficial to get everything started. That way, if it is something, we can put it out. Cal Fire's air tankers are gassed up and ready to fly out in a moment's notice, always keeping their eyes out for smoke on the ridge. That's the very latest from Ramona, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.